Uh, hello everyone today we will solve these numericals and these numericals are available in the ASA level physics book of Cambridge International uh, these are the first five numericals from the chapter number one the numerical number one is calculate the area in centimeter square of the top of a table with sides of 1.2 meter and 0.9 meters let's consider this as the top of a table the length of this one side is 1.2 meter while the length of this second side is 0.9 meter. Now we know that the area of uh, anything or of a rectangular shape is length multiplied by width. So the length of this table is 1.2 meter and the width of this, of this table is 0.9 meter. Simply multiply these two terms we will get 10.8 meter square area of the table is equal to 10.8 meters square now we have calculated the area but this area is in meter square now we will convert this meter square into centimeter square because we need the area in centimeter square converting the meter square to centimeter square is very simple one meter we know is equal to 100 centimeter or in scientific notation 10 power 2 centimeter substitute the value for this m in this equation with 10 power 2 cm cm means centimeter so we will have a is equal to 10.8 into 10 square centimeter whole square keep in mind that this square will be over this whole term 10 square centimeter this is not square this is 10 power 2 this is in scientific notation form so we will have area is equal to 10.8 10 power 2 centimeter and whole square taking the square on this 10 power 2 we will get 10 power 4 this is 10 power 4 and this centimeter square so we will have the area is equal to 10.8 times 10 power 4 centimeter square now moving this dot from the right hand side to the left hand side we will add 1 with the power of this 10 so we will have 1.08 times 10 power 5 centimeter square and this is the required answer now the numerical number 2 is determine the number of cubic meters in 1 cubic kilometer we will determine the cubic meters in 1 cubic kilometer or in other simple terms we will convert 1 cubic kilometer to cubic meters so we know that 1 cubic kilometer is equal to 1 kilometer whole cube now keep in mind that this cube is not only on this meter but also on this kilo this is something like this 1 km whole cube and we know that 1 kilo is equal to 1000 which is equal to 1 times 10 power 3 in scientific notation form so simply substitute the value for this kilo in this equation we will have 1 cubic kilometer is equal to 1 into 1 multiply 10 power 3 meter whole cube now we will have 1 cubic kilometer is equal to 1 multiply 10 power 9 this 3 when multiply with this cube this will become 10 power 9 and this will become meter cube so there are 1 multiply 10 power 9 cubic meters in 1 cubic kilometer now this is our numerical number 3 which is write down scientific notation the values of the following quantities we will write the values of these quantities in scientific notation form the first one is 6.8 picofarad this is picofarad which means pico is equal to 10 power minus 12 so we will simply substitute the value for this pico and this will become 6.8 picofarad is equal to 6.8 multiply 10 power minus 12 this 10 power minus 12 is the value of this pico now b number is 3 micro coulomb we know micro is equal to 10 power minus 6 so we have simply substituted the values for this micro so 3 micro coulomb is equal to 3 multiply 10 power minus 6 coulombs the third one is 60 gigawatt so giga is equal to here is this table in this table you can see that 
और वन गेगा गेगा इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय जी एंड इज इक्वल टू टेन पावर नाइन नाउ सिंपली सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू फॉर दिस गेगा इन दिस इक्वेशन सो वी विल हैव सिक्सटी गेगा वाट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी मल्टीप्लाई टेन पावर नाइन वाट एंड नाउ मूविंग दिस डॉट इज हेयर टू दिस साइड वी विल हैव सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो मल्टीप्लाई टेन पावर टेन वाट and there's the answer now the numerical number 4 is how many electric fires each rated at 2.5 kilowatt can be powered from a generator providing 2.0 megawatt of electric power we have a generator which is producing 2.0 megawatt of electric power this is the generator production which is equal to 2.0 megawatt and 2.0 megawatt we know is equal to 2.0 multiply 10 power 6 watts the electric fires consumption is given as 2.5 kilowatt which is equal to 2.5 times 10 power 3 watts now in the step 2 we will simply divide the total electric generation by the fire consumption By dividing the electric generation by fire consumption we will get the number of electric fires that can be powered from the generator so we will have the number of electric fires that can be powered from the generator is equal to 2.0 multiply 10 power 6 watt which is the generator production divided to by 2.5 multiply 10 power 3 which is the consumption of each electric fire Dividing this, we will get 0.8 multiply 10 power 6 minus 3, which is equal to 0.8 multiply 10 power 3. Now, shifting this dot to the right side, we will minus 1 from this 3. So we will have 8.0 multiply 10 power 2, which is equal to 8 hundreds. So the number of electric fires that can be powered from the generator will be 8 hundred. 800 electric fires can be uh, powered from their generator now this is numerical number 5 an atom of gold given in the figure number 1.6 this is the figure of 1.6 has a diameter of 0.26 nanometer the diameter of this atom is given as 0.26 meter this is the length of the diameter which is starting from one it passing to the center and reaching to the second and side of this circular shape the diameter is 0.26 nanometer uh, and the diameter of its nucleus is 5.6 multiply 10 power minus 3 this 5.6 multiply 10 power minus 3 is the diameter of the nucleus calculate the ratio of the diameter of the atom to that of the nucleus we will determine the ratio of the diameter of the atom to that of this nucleus of this atom we know that the ratio between two numbers for example a to b is a divided by b we will simply divide uh, diameter of the atom by diameter of the nucleus now the diameter of the atom is given as 0.26 nanometer now writing this in scientific notation in standard form in meters we will have 0.26 multiply 10 power minus 9 this 10 power minus 9 is the value of this nano now again adjusting this dot we will have 2.6 multiply 10 power minus 10 meter and this is the diameter of the atom similarly the diameter of the nucleus is 5.6 multiply 10 power minus 3 picometer this p the value of this p is pico which is 10 power minus 12 So this is 10 power minus 3 and this is 10 power minus 12. Both the powers will be add up and we will have 5.6 multiply 10 power minus 15 meters. This will be the this is the diameter of the nucleus. Now we have the diameter of the atom which is equal to 2.6 multiply 10 power minus 10 meter and diameter of the nucleus which is 5.6 multiply 10 power minus 15 now the ratio of the atom to the nucleus ratio of the diameter of the atom to the nucleus is 2.6 multiply 10 power minus 10 meter which is the diameter of the atom divided by diameter of the uh, nucleus 
we will get 0 0.464 multiply 10 power minus 10 plus 15 moving this minus 15 to the power we will have minus 10 plus 15 and finally we will get the ratio as 4.64 multiply 10 power 4 and this is the ratio between the diameter of the atom to date of the diameter of the nucleus that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe vgedu for more videos thank you